just there. Throughout the facility, we also have delicious barbecue tonight provided by Moonshine Deli and Barbecue, run by local legend and OC parent Tree. Tree, Tree back there. And don't forget to purchase your Oakland Soccer merch uh, to support our grassroots nonprofit program. Oakland Soccer Club promotes good sportsmanship by its athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, sexist, or other abusive comments or intimidated actions directed at officials, athletes, coaches, or team representatives will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal. The consumption or possession of alcoholic beverages is strictly prohibited. Thank you and enjoy tonight's game. Tonight's starting lineup for Napa Valley, 1839. Alex C. Lewis, Sal Gomez. Harris Martin, Alvaro Carreras, Sam Menenberg, Luis Velasco, Will Benora, Dario Pavon, Oscar Ortiz, Ryan Kane, and Guy Martin. And now your starting lineup for Oakland Soccer Club. Number six, Andres Alfaro. Number 20, Hector Alvarez. Number eight, Ernesto Blanco. Number seven, our DOC, Julio Cervantes. Number 16, Logan Gutierrez. Number 4, Tyler Markovic. Number 14, Jesse Martinez. Number 10, Francisco Mendoza. Number 24, Jesus Rangel Medina. Number 3, Jalen Sharp. Number 9, Magus Solomon. Really quick, we would like to have a moment, one minute of silence to honor the life of Felix Rangel. He's a longtime Oakland Club supporter and father to our goalkeeper, Julie Rangel Medina, who recently passed away. Barry, are you on there? Yes, I'm here. Yep, yep. Okay, thank you. We're live, Barry. 
Okay, I still haven't got any team news there. I sent you the email just a second ago, again. Okay, I'll have another look then. Well, we should have it yeah, no. Okay, why don't you operate the camera while I go get my jacket? Yeah, so what do I do? Dude, just, just follow me. Is huge. Well, a very warm welcome to the Oakland Technical High School for this uh, match day one in the MPSL, the National Premier Soccer League. It's Oakland Soccer Club in the light green shirts lining up against Napa Valley, who are in the purple shirts. They're just about ready to get underway. Referee Turan Ozdemir. Standing over the ball. It's going to be Oakland Soccer to get this game underway. Kicking from right to left. Early ball down the right-hand channel. Which goes out for a throw. You start the clock. Yeah, it's not working. Oh. Oakland getting a good early feel for the ball. And the sunshine. On this left hand side. And her away. It's quickly returned. Down the left hand channel and out for a throw into Napa Valley. Did you get an accent? That's hard. You got like an Australian accent. Free kick given. Well, in the midfield area. Good, good. 
Match day one, no game next week. On match day two, a local derby here against Oakland Stompers. Oakland Soccer Club coming forward. It's a good uh, move down towards the right hand side, but the through ball has been cut out by Napa Valley. Interception for the right fullback, but he's run into traffic and now he's out of position. And this might be a chance for Oakland to profit early on. Keeping possession well. Stroking the ball around really well in these early stages. They've had the dominant possession in the opening couple of minutes. There's a good ball forward as well into the penalty area, but the flag is up over on the far side. Offside. <laughs> Very quickly turned Napa Valley on the back foot here of Oakland Soccer Club. Got a throw. Referee. Not happy with the positioning of that throw. Hey, how come we can't hear the dude no more? You told him already? Time isn't working. Time isn't working. Also, someone had called you and it reconnected back to the stream, but. can't hear the guy. Yeah. Well, the commentator dude, we can't hear him no more. But it reconnected back to the stream. Okay. Do you have your phone with you? None, yeah. Barry, are you there?
Barry. Where are you, Barry? Hi. Uh, yeah, give me a minute, okay? I'll, uh, I'll come down in a minute. Barry, Barry, try and connect. You could hear him when he was commenting. Barry, Barry, are you able to come back?
Shoot. Who's calling you right now? Who's I can see I see that. No, that bu we did a lot of coordination and testing to get him on here, and you yeah. You said to put your photo. Huh? I did. I did. And then I had to email him the uh, roster sheet again, and I forgot to put it back. They can hear us on the uh, mic. They can hear us on the mic. Like the like the people watching the stream can hear us. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was trying to say, Barry, Barry, if you're there, try and reconnect, my guy. Yeah, yeah.
Barry. Hello. Barry, I'm <laughs> sorry for the technical difficulties. We should be good. Your camera's on, by the way. Okay. Dapa just scored a, a goal. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's fine. Napoli the invite. That goal to nil. Still coming just past the half an hour mark. Oakland Soccer Club to get back level. Wasn't the best of angles. Got the corner. Quickly gathered up, and Napa Valley are able to clear away. with the possession deep inside their own half. Quickly shifting the ball to the right-hand side. This is a promising attack from the team that lead by a goal to nil. Come his side open his left foot. And that's a very good strike to make it 2-0. When it all came up from some patient build-up from the back. And then as he cuts inside, the right wing up. Unleashes an unstoppable shot from the outside edge of the penalty area. Beyond the goalkeeper, Rango, and into the corner of the net. And suddenly, it's 2-0. get themselves back into this game now Oakland Soccer Club first thing they can do is keep possession and that's exactly what they're doing at the moment going through the lines out towards the left hand side the time and space So far, everything that Oakland have thrown at Napa Valley. Napa Valley have filled it very well. They've defended stoutly and they've taken their chances. Leading here by two goals to nil. Half time approaching. Not the start to the season that coaching team of Michael Moodess, David Landeros, and Nicholas Littleton would have wanted.
Oh, down that right hand side. And recycle to the left this time. That's a little on the heavy side and out for a throw it. Then they've made roads and shot coming in from just outside the box again very central position to get the shot in quick and it was rising over and goes crossbar i think there's like a delay but the thing is sinking up though There's a promising move down that right hand side. <clears throat> yeah. Assistant referee. Put his flag in the air. It's gone out for a throw. <laughs> to uh, Oakland Soccer Club. time will certainly be to try and refresh things change things to, to put a little bit more pressure on that Napa Valley defense it's important that OSC get the next goal to play a pivotal part in this game this is an opportunity to get the ball in. What is in the box? Free kick comes in. Again, it's Napa Valley that deal with it comfortably. And they can break away down the left hand side. From a central position and away to the right again. Turn back into the penalty area. This is a good move from the visiting team. The shot coming in, which was uh, easily dealt with. back to the goalkeeper Won it back well in the midfield. So again, just stepping out from the back and winning the ball back. Napa Valley. There's right hand side where they've found some profit. Keeping possession now. Their instructions are quite simple keep the ball, keep the clean sheet going into half time, which is fast approaching us. Down the left hand side this time. The Napa Valley are attacking. Another shot coming in, and that's a good save from Rangel. Cutting in from the right-hand side again. Left-footed, low drive towards goal. It could easily have been 3-0. It's a good save, that. Pushing it away to the far side, where Napa Valley, leading by two goals, still have a throw. They're asking the questions in the build-up to half-time.
comes that corner. Cleared from inside the six yard box. And well to return it to the right hand side. Strong defending to deny the cross. It will be a throw to Napa Valley. Yeah, that's a comp uh, bummer. Uh, I wish the timer was working. Usually, you just do the trigger and yeah. it, goes, it goes automatically. There's a free kick to Napa Valley. Struggling ball around well at the moment. The visiting team leading here by two goals to nil. High hoisted ball towards the left hand edge of. The Oakland Soccer Club penalty area cleared away. And there goes the half time whistle. Well, not going quite according to plan. Two goals towards the end of the first half. Sees the visitors, Napa Valley, going at half time with a 2 0 lead. We'll be back for the second half very shortly. who have helped Oakland Soccer Club. Square Pie Guys, Boulder Boot Academy, Left Side Printing, Oaklandish, Oakland Roof, MP Jesse Painting, McCullough, and Blue Pelican Marine. Thank you everyone for coming out and supporting Grassroots Soccer tonight, the Oakland uh, community and Oakland Soccer Club. I think we have a special presentation for halftime. Uh, please enjoy. We want to make this a great experience all around for everybody. Messi. Yes, Messi. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eduardo. Five one oh fitness, please. Another another round of applause. Thank you so much. We all appreciate you. Thank you. So we're off and underway for the second half. And an early shot from, well, inside the own half from uh, the visiting team. It was always off target. No problems for the uh, goalkeeper, Rangel. A long pump downfield. 
<laughs> so the half time entertainment. The home crowd perhaps cheered up a little following the two goals towards the end of the first half from the visitors Napa Valley that gives them a 2 0 cushion. Immediately, Oakland Soccer Club are on the front foot a corner. Towards a six-yard box. Well, that would have been the perfect start to the second half if they can get a goal back. Now, back out wide again. Ball into the penalty area. On the volley! Just wide. Good chance, that. Sat up nicely, but just couldn't quite get the clean connection that would have tested the goalkeeper at the very least. A goal kick, but a good start to the second half from Oakland Soccer Club. Asking an early question from that corner. And the goal kick has ended up going straight out on this near side for a throw in, which is taken quickly. A sense of urgency about Oakland in the early stages of this second half. They've got to keep that momentum going. They didn't ask too many questions of Napa Valley defensively in the first half. They just ask one there. And that's good play. Little triangles in the midfield and over towards the left-hand side. Reminder that in two weeks' time, Oakland Stompers are the visitors here in match day two for a trip to the Boxer Stadium to take on El Farolito on match day four. There's a sense of urgency about these Oakland Soccer Club players since they've been sent out for the second half. Starting on the front foot, they've seen plenty of the ball since the restart. As night descends, and the floodlights are on. Three minutes into the Second period, and it's uh, still 2 0 to Napa Valley, but an encouraging start to the second half by the home side. <laughs> that was sloppy defending. Gets to the byline, it's crossed in. Goalkeeper gets a hand to it. Goal kick in the end. But it was a little bit of sloppiness for the first time, really, in this match at the back for Napa Valley. They nearly got caught out. <laughs> out for a Napa Valley throw on this near side. The Napa Valley left quickly taken. In towards the penalty area. It's a good turn. And uh, Rangel was out quickly to narrow the angle and make the save. And a third goal there for Napa Valley would have really made it difficult for Oakland Soccer Club to get back into it. Keeping the ball but inside their own half at the moment. Over towards the left hand side. Good pressure in that little condensed area from Napa Valley. It is a throw into OSC.
This is a really good opportunity from the corner. Drilled in low. Cleared away. Maybe a chance of a breakaway here, but yeah, there was one and one well. They've got plenty of bodies forward here. Napa Valley. Cleared away. Two early scares in the opening five minutes of the second half of Napa Valley, but seem to have settled down since then. He's given a goal kick. Could be promising. Oh, I see coming forward down the right hand side. Chance to get the cross in. And it's a foul, is it? And the referee does blow his whistle. And it's more a case of the assistant referee giving the decision. This is a dangerous moment in the game. A goal back right now, and it's game on. Two-man wall. Played in shots. Good save at the near post by the goalkeeper. It will be a corner. Well worked free kick that. So close. On two occasions since half time. If they can make the breakthrough. We'll be right back in this. In comes the corner. Again, it's cleared away. It will get returned. Back into the penalty area. Defenders there in numbers. Needs a good cross. Plenty of green shirts out on this right hand side. <laughs> that was deep foul. Not sure it went down too well with the home fans, and the free kick has gone the way of Napa Valley. Goal kick, they've gone long, they've gone direct. Ball into the box and driving towards the six yard box as a strike. It was good defending actually by OSC. Another long ball forward, which asks questions of the Oakland defence. Whose ball is picked up down the left hand side? This is a good run. For Nick Napa Valley midfielder. Can't get the cross in though. Hasn't been fully cleared here by Oakland. Over to the right hand side. They maintain.
maintain that controlling stake in this match, but that's a long ball that will glide beyond everyone and out for a goal kick. Eleven minutes into the second half, and it remains 2 0 to Napa Valley. Was uh, not far away. Strong towards goal. and keeping the ball well. Driving through the midfield. But again, they're alert to it. Napa Valley, they had defended largely very well in this game. In the last five minutes, you'd have to say they've looked the more likely. Valley left, but that's good defending by OSC, working their way out down the right-hand side. Giving away. There is a third. Excellent strike. And that really does put daylight between Napa Valley and Oakland Soccer Club and what has been a challenging match day one for the home side. A third goal is rifled home. And it's a long way back now. Soccer Club needed the third goal coming in for Napa Valley. And they find themselves three behind on the opening weekend of the National Premier Soccer League, the MPSL, the West Region Golden Gate Conference. Off his line, the goalkeeper to deal with the ball. Chases on, goalkeeper comes to the edge of his area and mops things up. Goal now might just give them a glimmer of hope. Another long ball into the channel, it's a good ball as well. Pavali on the attack. Early ball into the box. There's a bit of time and space. Angle wasn't favourable and he couldn't hit the target from that narrow angle. It's behind for a goal kick.
a yellow card. Frustration beginning to set in for Oakland Soccer Club. Seventeen minutes into the second half. Just past the hour mark. It was on the hour that the visitors got their all important third goal to give them a satisfying cushion at this stage. for a throw which Oakland are keen to get forward as quickly as possible and Tom Well again look at that safety first long punt forward it returns the ball and puts the home side on the back foot Pick something out for me. This is a good uh, opportunity to get the shot in. Well, it's not the first shot that's tested that visiting goalkeeper. And whilst it was a, a save and it was on target, it was a comfortable save. moment one of the Oakland players lost his shin pad further downfield he's gone and retrieved it Club continuing to plug away. And that was given away the crossfield pass from left to right, uh, right to left rather. Now it's Napa Valley coming forward, looking for a fourth, but they're outnumbered in the penalty area, and it was an easy header away. Napa Valley. The goalkeeper looking long downfield. Retain the ball better. Napa Valley. And they're on the attack again down the left hand side. This could be dangerous. Into the penalty area. Early ball in. And they've got options in that box as well. And it bypassed the first striker over towards the right hand side. And it's a shot that bobbles wide. But it's a chance for Napa Valley. And very nearly 4-0. Oh, 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 oh,
drive through the midfield, but just run away from him. As he crossed the halfway line, long punt forward again. I'm happy to just punt that ball forward at every opportunity. Napa Valley. Further down the field that the ball is, the happier they are. Leading by three goals to nil. And the options down the right-hand side. And the assistant referee went to put his flag up and then opted against it, put it back down again. Presumably because he felt that the defending side had the ball and it wasn't worth stopping the game. Referee's whistle has gone. The ball is out to play on the far side. Changes are afoot. Finding it very difficult at the moment, Oakland, to bridge that back line of Napa Valley. And it could be a breakaway. Two against two defenders plus the goalkeeper. Deflected behind, it will be a corner. Again, good defending by Napa Valley. Possession from the visiting team who lead here by three goals to nil. Happy to keep ball wherever they are on the pitch. And out from the back, being careful not to give the ball away. And to go backwards at times, but it's keeping the ball. Frustrating. Oakland Soccer Club. Referee's blowing the whistle. Run off the ball incident here. Give me, give me a link. Yeah, give me, just give me something. 
Nothing spicy though. It's a moment to be taken in the right back position. It's a case of having to go backwards rather than forwards. In the hopes of a comeback. Hinge on a goal sooner rather than later. Played nearly half an hour of this second half. Around about 18 minutes to go. Time just beginning to run out for Oakland Soccer Club. One thing they don't want is a defeat. By any larger margin than 3 0 on the opening day. This is a good Napa Valley side who are perfectly capable of scoring more goals. They've got themselves a throw on the far side, their right hand side. Possession from OSC. Trying to luck down the left hand side. A very well structured defensive unit that they're up against. Got to do something. They have had two or three sightings of gold in this second half. One of them gone in. It might be a different story, but the third Napa Valley goal gives the That's visitors a clear advantage. I'll just get. Uh, just don't. I, I'm fine. I don't need anything. a chance as the ball came into the penalty area but again the target wasn't hit and that will be a goal kick <laughs> soccer club in the green for anyone that knows Napa Valley they usually wear green as well so they're in their change kit today of uh, Claret Away once more. Return back in towards the penalty area. Once again, they pick up that loose ball so well, Napa Valley. Patiently clearing the ball. Back into the Oakland Soccer Club half. The pressure on the left full backer has to go back to his goalkeeper. Can't take any chances in that situation. The goalkeeper came a long way and he didn't get it. Now, is that a foul? That's the big question. Did he get the ball? Referee has come rushing down the fields. 
they come sprinting off his line the goalkeeper and he gets a yellow card for the foul it wasn't in the eyes of the referee the last player so he stays on the field with a caution but it is a big moment in the game this if they can get a goal back Oakland Soccer Club priority here is to get the ball over the wall second priority is to keep it down <laughs> oh, keepers come rushing off his line to push the wall forward I mean, I've never seen that before a oh, free kick it's just slightly left the centre perfect for the right foot into the wall, deflected behind. It will be a corner. And strong at the back, Napa Valley. forward and not afraid to punt it when they need to but they can work it forward as well they mix it up well Napa Valley that's a foul the referee's yellow card has come out again there and that's another challenge out of frustration and another yellow card for Oakland Soccer Club So a free kick to Napa Valley. on that left hand side Good defending this time from Oakland and they've managed to get the ball up towards the halfway line what can they spring yeah long ball forward the flag had to go up there he was a good few meters offside 
And a free kick to Napa Valley. And I reckon it. About eight minutes to go. Plus injury time. Not too many stoppages in this game, to be fair. Ball is out of play on the far side. It will be a throw in to Oakland Soccer Club. Running here by three goals to nil. Strangel, the goalkeeper. Downfield, it will be a throw in to Oakland Soccer Club. Be quite some comeback now if they could get anything out of this game. They're going to need to score very, very quickly. Just put or so an element of doubt in the minds of Napa Valley. Behind for a goal kick, more frustration. Oakland Soccer Club really found a way to break down Napa Valley this evening. Up there, and there is the goal. Finally, the breakthrough. It's probably too little, too late. It's a dash back to the halfway line. Now, with less than 10 minutes to go, Oakland Soccer Club scored their first league goal of the season. If nothing else, it does give that scoreline a little bit more respectability. And maybe, as I said a couple of minutes ago, it might sow the seed of doubt in the minds of one or two of those Napa Valley players who have defended, for the most part, very well. They have created chances in this second half, Oakland Soccer Club, and that one was taken well. We need to test this out before the game starts next time. Yeah. Not afraid to put the laces through the ball when they need to. And trying to get that ball down from out the sky and forward as quickly as possible. If they can get a quick second, who knows where this game might take them. And about five minutes to go. Well, now, certainly make for a nervous five minutes for the visiting side from Napa Valley. Oh, 
The next game is against Sonoma Salt at home in Napa Valley for a trip to Sacramento Gold. Two weeks from now, the Oakland Derby against the Stompers here for OSC. Napa Valley just trying to slow this game down. Frank may it, take it away from Oakland Soccer Club to put the pressure on them. They're succeeding in doing so at the moment. I need one of you guys to help me win the game, over. I need someone to help me win the game, over. I need all the balls back, like, right away, because they're going to disappear. Like, I need, I need all seven balls back. Just collect them from the ball kids after the game. There should be a bag somewhere, too. Uh, you have to have it on the... There's, like, a bunch of different, like, settings. Like, uh, oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of different profiles. There's, like, three different soccer profiles. And, uh, a couple of different football profiles. You guys told me to start it from zero, right? Uh, the, the clock? Yeah, yeah and go up. Yeah. Probably what it's you know, I think you need to set it to count up. It probably yeah. already counted down. There's an opportunity to get the ball in the box for Napa Valley. Maybe an opportunity for striking towards goal, but it was hoisted well over the top of the crossbar. Not a particularly good free kick at all, but the ball is dispatched well away from the pitch. That kills a few more seconds, if nothing else, for Napa Valley. Just a couple of minutes plus injury time. It's like that goal. For OSC is merely a consolation. We needed a quick fire second. Have a valley continue to take the sting out of the game. like it's going to be a fruitful journey back north to Napa County for Napa Valley. Flag is up. Offside. Take the time of this free kick, Napa, Napa Valley. Over a minute to go. Out for a throw. It's a handball, and that will be a yellow card. Surely. Uh, I think I can see why he's doing it, actually. Teammate was down off the pitch. That's why he stopped it. They tried to play the throw in quick. I was surprised, actually, they tried to play the throw in quick. So last minute, the three one up. I thought they would have killed a little bit more time. The fullback decided to sling the ball forward very quickly. I, my first impression was perhaps it should have been handball, but in hindsight, with the teammate down off the field, perhaps had every right to do that. And that's why the referee didn't take any action. It's probably the most significant stoppage of the whole 90 minutes. I know he is off the pitch. <laughs> I 
the injured player off of the chair. Now for a throw into Napa Valley, down by the corner flag. That's where they'll want to keep the ball in stoppage time. <laughs> Corner kick. Look at the injury. It seems he can't really put any weight on that right boot. Scoop forward. Can they get the shot in? Took a deflection. It took the sting out of it. For uh, Rango. Ball into the box. This might be a chance. Defender was quicker in the reaction and managed to mop things up very well for Napa Valley. Yeah, none of those high balls. It certainly clears the ball, but it also puts the pressure on the OSC defence and it's bobbling around. They do eventually knock things up. Free kick is given. Deep into stoppage time. There goes the final whistle, and it's three points for Napa Valley in the NPSL. They have beaten an Oakland Soccer Club here by three goals to one at the Oakland Technical High School. Thank you very much for your company for today's live screen. You know, and we'll see you soon. I'll have to see you. Okay. Sorry.